and I had hey. forgotten to uh, take my medicine uh, in the afternoon two days in a row and nearly died. Isn't had, that awful, I, ladies and we gentlemen? We were talking about uh, two of my friends and I went to a hockey game the other night, and we should have gone in an ambulance because everybody was about it, He's gotten so bad off he can't even watch sports anymore, <laughs> much less participate. Well, I'd forgotten my diuretic <laughs> two days in a row. <laughs> Something it, right funny with my hair, but you know, I don't dare touch it. No. Because hair lady will just go yeah. gaga. Yes. What are we doing today? I don't know. I just saw a movie. I was watching Easter Parade on TV uh -huh. and Jules Munchen. You remember Jules Munchen? Yes. Well, was doing a, 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 a mimed version of a salad, and I thought about the hair lady because as he got through, he tossed his hair with his hands and proceeded to go on with the salad. I thought, well... Too bad the hair lady wasn't watching. By the way, the postman has been here oh, and yeah. left us well, a gigantic let's... box, which we're supposed to open right. at well, the beginning of it. the program. We have a surprise. Well, good. And I don't know what it is. I don't have any idea right. what it is. I'm chopping onions because I need to. <laughs> and I'm boiling some potatoes, some white potatoes, in case you want to know what I'm oh, doing. Oh, it's full of... Uh-oh, what is it? What is it? Dear Laban, Larry, and Doris... I promised Miss Carol something yesterday that will make a task easier on you two, knowing from past reruns, you two always pick on Doris over stuff she brought in from home, so your show has run for 17 years. I hope this little contribution will help y'all for the next 17 years, and Doris can pick up her dollies and dishes and, oh, my wrong story, uh, pick up on her can opener, leave it at home. Keep up the good show, guys. I'm not going to write some irate vegetarian letter good. up here in Pennsylvania. Good. Me and Dot, my mom of 77 years, just grab whatever's on sale and cook it. Keep up the good fun. You two don't need a laugh track. Keep the crew. Uh, sincerely, the cheap cook in Pennsylvania, Satellite Steve Johnson of Westchester. P.S. Hope you see some new shows soon. What's okay. in there? I don't know. There's Looks like a lot of peanuts to me. Let's. I hate these. Oh, things. I hope it's a new refrigerator. My refrigerator <laughs> freezer went out yesterday, ruined everything in the house. Oh, look at this. <laughs> what do we got? I can't hear. Can you? I'm holding this pan because it's about to burn. All right. Well, <laughs> it's a new <laughs> electric can opener. <laughs> well, well thank you very much. Well, we appreciate Satellite it. Steve, thanks. Yes, indeed. Let's get the witch in here. we got a lot to do. Right now. Right on cue. Ooh. The witch is always on cue. She had a nice little arc on that thing <laughs> today. <laughs> All right, let's see. What's it say, Johnson? I don't know. I read the last one. You can have the pleasure. Dear L&L, &L, mm. that was a confectionery down that's, on Fifth Street. That's I us. Remember. I work in the romance novel division of our <laughs> local library. We don't have many people reading this trash anymore, oh. so I really don't have much to do. My wife says I'm just frittering away my time, uh, which reminds me, uh -huh. do you have recipe for fritters? I kind of figured that. I've been watching on. for years and don't recall that you've ever done a fritter. Mm. My grandmother used to do them before she got locked up. Thanks. <laughs> Marvin, oh, this is one of those hyphenated names. Oh, no. Canola oil <laughs> of Skillet, Texas. <laughs> that was a pretty slick family, as I recall. <laughs> they were. Hey, listen, I, this is going to burn if I don't get something out right. i got to take three white onions. Well, what are you doing? Well, the first, let me start at the beginning. <laughs> We start at the beginning. <laughs> I've had a tough day. I'm going to do potato cakes, which is a kind of fritter. Okay? Uh huh. But this is an unusual potato cake in that usually potato cakes are made from leftover mashed potatoes. Uh huh. <laughs> the whole staff has broken out in, in some kind of cold. In a spring flu. So, anyway. <laughs> This one is made from scratch with the potatoes freshly done. And I forgot to do them ahead of time, so I had to nuke them. But pretend like I boiled them. Here they are in the hot boiling water. Oh, oh, that is so hot, I can hardly stand it one time, baby. It looks like Over they're mushy. Over here, I have taken some, I have slow cooked so that it gets beautiful. Look at that, isn't that gorgeous? Johnson does uh, bacon that gorgeous all the time. And the secret is you've got to do it very slow. And that's why I have the worst heart in and town. And you see that? <laughs> and you've got to get it so it crumbles. It's got to be crumbly because we've got to crumble that up and put it in this recipe. Then you take the stuff, what do they call that, from the uh, bacon grease. Uh -huh. <laughs> I've lost the ability to form words. <laughs> and you leave that on there and you take three white onions and just, just chop them all up and you go on ahead and fry the onions right in the bacon grease. 
So that'll be the next thing that goes in there. That's all for now. Oh, thank you so much. Uh, I'm doing applesauce corn fritters that were sent in by Jim and Deborah Weiss, I think it is. Let me put my... Did you say rice? Weiss. Do you know him, Jim? Of Woodbury, New Jersey. Oh, he used to Jim go with Jim and Deborah them. Weiss. Right, he used to, go, he used to have them down all you, the time. They're right. I, I had forgotten them. All right. This is a strange recipe because it gives, it's another one of those that somebody sent in with a, an ingredient, namely applesauce, and no quantity. So oh, I'm not going to put it in till the end so that we can figure out how much we need then. So By the way, ladies and gentlemen, two eggs. I'm crumbling the bacon with my bare hands. Thank you. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. It, that, is that one of the better crumbles you've seen in a long time? Crumbling the bacon with my bare hands. Right. There we go. There. It's all crumbled. Go all ahead, Johnson. Right. Thank you so much. I've got my two eggs in here, and I'm going to whip them up so that they incorporate correctly in a little bit. So the what? Incorporate. Oh. You know, like when you go into business. <laughs> all right, now I'm going to add to that one and a half cups of your common, ordinary flour. Oops. I told you never to use the word common on this show again. Well, I don't know why not. <laughs> it comes a Around little too here. close to home. <laughs> All right. One and a half cups. These cups are hard to measure in because they, they're flat, you know. Let All me right. know when I can do something. Well, just Take your time. give me a minute here. And uh, two tablespoons of honey or sugar, and I'm going to use honey because I had some. You know, the honey is getting kind of, of expensive since the bees got that tracheal disease and all the croak. And um, two teaspoons of I'm not feeling so good myself. Powder. I know. <laughs> you don't look so hot either. <laughs> Tell me I'm worried about I it. I didn't get to do my hair before I went on, but, <clears throat> well, well, hair lady will it. cause a problem if I even touch it. All right, so now I I'm going to mix this up into a batter while you're diddling around with the onions. Okay. So you go ahead then. Well, the onions are diddling themselves here. They're uh, right there in the pan, and they're just frying away and getting real pretty. Now, what we have here are some potatoes. And what I got to do at this point, they're all boiled. And what I have, these are just ordinary white potatoes. And what I got to do is take the little jackets off of them. Boy, these are sure crummy looking potatoes. You know, it's been a couple of years now we've had some bad potatoes and bad onions. I don't understand what that's all about. This is an unusual recipe in that not only does it call for you to mash the potatoes, it calls for you to mash them with your bare hands. I don't know. I've never seen a recipe like this, but it looks interesting, and we're going to well, give it a try. You know, we're adventurous people here on Cooking Cheap. Look how, look how those green. Potatoes, yeah, they're oh, just they've pathetic. been exposed to the light. They ha well, much. I don't know. I just bought them today. How much light could they have had? Well, they could have lain in the grocery store if you went to that one I'm thinking. <laughs> yeah. uh, they could have ran into and ran into the Cook Sisters. Oh, were they in the, the, the those two oh, sisters, yes. the real Cook Sisters? There is a, a couple of sisters here in town. There are, uh, there is a couple. There, there are, are, there is, there some are. Some sisters in some, the town. Two gals, and their names are Cook. I forget what their first names are. Labonia and Jerusha. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's easy for you uh -huh. to say. Well, that's all I'm going to do. I'm just going to peel these things, and then we're going to get to the fun part where I get in here with my hands and smash them all up. All right. This Go is, ahead, Johnson. This is 25 ounces of... I'm not going to use it all of applesauce, but you obviously need it because it's this batter will never work for a fritter if you don't put a lot of applesauce in. So you know, even the eyes don't look right on these potatoes; <laughs> they're sort of crossed. I There's guarantee There's something you, wrong with these potatoes. Their eyes don't even look right. They have just laid there. Oh Lord. Well, I have done the best I can, I ladies and you gentlemen. Have. You know, when you go to a store, is it asking too much? Even a low-down store like the one I go to. Is it asking too much to have decent, but I mean, look at those things. Well, if you're seeing green when you're seeing these, do not adjust your set because they really are green. My late Aunt Rowena before. She was green, I remember. Oh, no, no, not until before later. Before she but was anyway. a brown, she was a green. <laughs> no, but forget. anyway, she insisted that I go to that particular store to buy all her groceries. Mm -hmm. And I just hated to go because nobody else went. She was supporting that store. Well, I go and, there because it's convenient. 
Yes, but everything they've got has been on the shelf for three years. <laughs> you know, it's kind of scary when you go in there in 1997 and see stuff that was overdue well, you know, in 1983. Well, Johnson, you know, you've <laughs> sort of gone over a little yourself, but we still like you. We still have you around. All right, now, I've used about a cup or a cup and a half of applesauce in here. Is this stuff hot yet? Oh, wait a minute, i got to put the corn he's, in. What? He's ignoring me. i got a lot of laughs on that. <laughs> Doris well, I know, especially. But you're paid plaque. <laughs> and Doris just shortchanged me today. I'll never get over oh, it. Oh, Lord. Just because she's not kowtowing to your every need when well, you get here. She just left me out completely because she saw how disturbed you were when you got here. <laughs> well, my refrigerator right. died. Oh, dear. I better stop pouring water in there. It oh, it's in there, but boy, it's full. Well, I've got a can of, a, a can of corn uh, that is the crispy kind that doesn't have a lot of water in it. But let's, I'll see, let me see, does it have any water? It did have some water in it, but not a whole lot. And I'm just going to let it drain over here into the sink and let it grow down there with everything else that's growing. And I'm going to add this can of corn to the applesauce fritter mix. Ugh. Let's see if I can find a towel. Oh. And we're going to mix all of this around, and pretty soon our applesauce corn fritter mix will be ready, and I can start frittering away my time. Well, it certainly is lovely. Can I do something now? I guess you can. Okay. Next, you take both of your hands <laughs> and you start squishing. This It's what it says. It says leave, leave lots of lumps. It says... Boil potatoes to done, run in cold water until you know the peel potatoes mash with your hands leaving a few lumps. How could you not leave a few lumps if you're doing it with your hands? Do you suppose they mean take your hands and use one of those squishy things on it? But it doesn't say that. It says mash with your hands. Okay, leaving a few lumps. <laughs> Here's a few lumps for you. I'll give you this a few lumps. This is just fun. And you know what? I, I sort of, you know, it's sort of, I'm enjoying it. It's nice and warm. It really is. Here's one for Johnson. Here's one for Johnson's family. Here's one for Doris. Like I said, mine. Hey, you. You know, that's why we didn't give her a microphone. It wasn't the station couldn't afford one. It's just we didn't want to hear her blathering in the distance. Okay, now, the next thing you do is add an egg to this mixture. Add your bacon. I, I mean, not your bacon. <laughs> well, we'll do that Add hey, your minute. bacon. The onions go in there. <laughs> and also the little bacon uh, things, crumblies, are going to go in there. We'll do that in a couple of minutes. I shouldn't be scratching this thing around on this. I know I'm going to get letters. I don't care about your letters. Anyway, this, I do care about your letters. I'm only joking. That's Those go in there. See, that's why so many people write in and complain about Larry being so mean. Well, I am mean. Says I'm just like a that. naturally mean human being. Mean old Mr. Bly. All right. Go ahead, Johnson. Try and fill a little time there, if you don't mind. Oh, I do mind. Uh, my... I have put the fritters into the hot oil. Ooh, they're pretty. And look at that. Let me see. Uh oh. Oh. <laughs> and when they're brown on one side, just like any other thing you would cook, like a pancake. Well, if I can get this one up in there. Salt, pepper. Let me know when I can do something. All right. There's I no end to this. Uh oh. Oh, I don't have the right technique. Okay, there, now I've got my fritters turned. You can do whatever it is you have to do. Well, I'm going to have to heat up some oil here uh -huh. at this point, just some regular oil. So it says lots of oil. That's a plenty of oil in my opinion. It says lots of oil. Now we need to add salt, half teaspoon of salt, half teaspoon of pepper, some breadcrumbs. How many, how many breadcrumbs? Don't put them in where? Some of the breadcrumbs go in here and some of the breadcrumbs, a half a cup of the breadcrumbs go in there and a cup of the breadcrumbs go by themselves. 
Doris was a little this nervous. This comes of Larry not doing his homework Doris. because he was upset. No, no, He'd been out of town. I believe I just told her what how yeah, this must be goes. But it was Larry's fault. I know it was. Okay. The next thing you put in there is a teaspoon of all seasoning. <laughs> and I'm having to do this by hand, literally, because I don't have any measuring devices. I guess there's been a shortage of those here on the set. Sorry, can I put them out? You never use them? Listen to her. <laughs> 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 there's a microphone talking to it. Put some of those in there. Now, you get to mix all of this. I'm not mixing it by hand. You people can do whatever you want to do. This is it for me. I've had it with this. I'm just going to mix it with this. And make sure that gets well distributed while you're heating up your oil. And in a couple of seconds, we'll put some flour and some more breadcrumbs, <laughs> as the recipe calls for, into a separate bowl <laughs> where we're going to dredge the stuff before we fry them. Maybe I should get into this with my hands, but you know, that, those onions are hot, and so is that bacon. I don't want to hurt myself. Doris, do you want me to hurt myself? <laughs> I'll swear it is a mean bunch, the whole bunch down here. It's a mean bunch of people. I'm actually in a pretty good mood considering my refrigerator freezer died, and I well, killed everything there while I was up in Washington, D.C. It's only about 16 years old. He's probably been mistreating it, too. <laughs> well, now, like what's, us. now, wait a minute. Now, everybody's <laughs> laughing at me. Now, what is the life of a refrigerator? Does anybody know? What is the average life of a refrigerator freezer? 16 I don't years. know. <laughs> well, whoops. <laughs> okay, this next one thing. is going to have to be expelled from school. <laughs> <laughs> the next thing you have to do now is mix a cup of flour and a cup of breadcrumbs together because that's what we're going to uh, put this thing into before we fry it, okay? So there we go, that's one and one. And what? Do I what? Oh, she's about to wear me out, ladies and gentlemen. She keeps mumbling. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that's all about. She keeps mumbling. Okay, so now you make these into little patties. Uh -huh. You do, just like that. And dredge them through there, and you will put them in your hot oil which isn't all that hot. Well, it should be. It's been on there for 10 minutes. Oh, it's starting. Should be a little hotter than that because you don't want it to uh, absorb grease. <sighs> so anyway, just do that until you get it all done. That's just real pretty. Put some of that in there. Isn't that pretty? This woman seems to know. Who is this person? Esther Patterson. Didn't she used to make... Uh, Lady Swimming Esther, pools? no, it was Lady Esther Cream. Oh, yeah, that's right. Esther is from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Mighty fine place, a real bell ringing town. We love them up there. They're <laughs> a great bunch of people. Yeah. <laughs> Johnson, it's good to see you laugh because you've just been a little on the grumpy side. <laughs> I'm just so relieved that he's laughing again. How's your stuff coming over there? What are you making? applesauce corn fritters and they've been done for hours <laughs> they look like they've been done for hours well while you're just well look at this this makes time, oh well yeah go on ahead all right let me go on ahead read the uh, re the ingredients uh, you need about a cup and a half of applesauce a cup and a half of flour two tablespoons of sugar or honey one and a half teaspoons of salt optional uh, two teaspoons of baking powder, two eggs, and one can of kernel corn. I'm going to give mine too, if you don't mind. Go right. Do ahead. you mind? No, I don't mind. But if you don't mind, I'll I give don't mine care. Too. All right. Uh, potato cakes. These are most unusual potato cakes, but I believe they're going to be real pretty, and they're frying away right now, even as we speak. Four white potatoes, three yellow <laughs> onions, six pieces of bacon, an egg, half cup of uh, breadcrumbs. <laughs> that goes into the mixture. Don't be silly like Doris and think that it all gets dumped into a separate bowl because she sillily didn't read the recipe. A teaspoon of all-purpose seasoning, which I had to look up and poor Doris had to go and find. She actually found something called all-purpose seasoning. It exists. A half teaspoon of black pepper, half teaspoon of salt. And then you dredge it in a cup of flour and a cup of bread crumbs and you have yourself some lovely potato cakes and I'm frying them right now and I think they're gonna be just right. I guess, oh look at that, they're getting brown. You know what? What? This stuff is working. <laughs> <laughs> I knew all along this program was gonna come off okay. Look at that, they're looking absolutely beautiful. I wish I had a camera so I could take a picture of it. Doris is, oh, is here, but you know what? 
point. I don't think we'll bring Doris in. Let's bring the Cook sisters in. I'd rather see the Cook sisters than Doris because the Cook sisters have not mouthed off to me one time today. Doris, on the other hand, has just been terrible. We love her, though. Here they are. <clears throat> oh, hey. Yeah. What's your name? Sister. Uh, sister. Did you know that when you're unplugging something from a wall socket, pull it out by the plug and not by the wire? <clears throat> you might get hold of something too hot to handle. Oh, <laughs> I'm Sister Cook. <laughs> and I'm tickled. And, um, we're, the and we're the Cook sisters. Hold on a second, take a picture. Hey, <laughs> hey, the very lovely Doris has appeared magically on the set. They tell me to be fast. Everybody, look at the sweater. New sweater from Peru. My <laughs> Peru? <laughs> Pauline. You, Peru. Hey, you and the Incas. Right, see? Personal new, friends. New she sweater, knew guys. Them well. She was their Sunday school teacher. <laughs> right. From baby alpacas. <laughs> <laughs> and if you want good potatoes, ride up the, the street where you live. <laughs> to a little stand and buy a 100-pound bag in the fall. You'd, and you'd be very good. He told me not to, to do this, but I am. Okay, two cups. I had to do a zucchini cakes. And uh, it's two cups of grated zucchini, one cup Italian-flavored breadcrumbs, two eggs, two tablespoons finely grated onion, one teaspoon Old Bay seasoning, one tablespoon mayonnaise, and oil for frying. It said to drain them real good, but don't. I did it, and they were horrible last night. So I leave a little moisture left in the zucchini squash. Who was horrible last better. night, Harold? But the zucchini, oh, these okay. things were bad because I drained them too much. <laughs> but, that, but, but at lunchtime, they were good. We you want to know something, Doris? What? I'm a little drained myself. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> okay, now what we got to do is we got to take these off because they've had time to brown. And I want you to look at these. These are beautiful. Look at that. Perfect. This person knows what this person is doing. They are really pretty. Now, if they just would taste decent. That well, would... well, I'll be the judge of that. <laughs> <laughs> I was afraid he was going to be the judge of that. There's always a judge of something. Try to stay with me. Work with me, Jim. Work with me. Okay. Right. Here we go. Let me give you one of these big old potato cakes. Oh, it just oh I think I could use that for a sinker <laughs> when I go fishing. <laughs> well, I did make them right big, I have to admit. <sighs> you know, I'm so tired, I'm not hungry. Well, where are the zucchini cakes? Well, yeah, what happened to them not zucchini very good, cakes? Are they? Oh, she's nuking oh, oh, them. Oh, she's, she's nuking them, even as we speak. They're still cold, but. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're just trying to hurt Mr. Judson. What's wrong? I just <laughs> dropped mine right off the floor. <laughs> oh, terrible. And you know, my hair hadn't got any better looking during this 30 minutes. Let me try your. Is, is this going to cauterize my no. mouth? They're actually really good. Yeah. They I like are. those. I think they're real good. It's amazing. Mm. How's my pic du potage? Well, I haven't, I'm afraid it's so fiery hot that it'll hurt me, but let me try. Oh, is it really? Well, let's see. Well, no, this is TV, Laban. Everything's fake. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> mmm. Woman knows what she's doing, does she? Isn't that incredible? I have never the potato made potato cakes are really good. I have never made a potato cake up. I mean, right then and there, from not from the previous day's mashed mm -hmm. potatoes. This is really interesting. I like this. Oh, and Doris's have got a real good flavor. They'd be delicious if they were hot. Mm-hmm. Hey, it's too bad they're just kind of limpid things, <laughs> limp and cold. Doris, they're good. You know they are, Doris. Doris is always a great cook. She really is. She's great. Well, you know, the wonderful thing is we have someone here in the studio from one of these other shows that's produced here, and I think he thought this was all fake. Now he's now no. discovered we really yeah. can cook. We really do know what we're doing. <laughs> and we know where we've been. All right, mm -hmm. let's see. That's good. Yes, indeed. Well, that's another fabulous show. Actually, they're delicious. This one's good enough to be a special. Mm -hmm. What? Yeah. If we'd have just had the June Taylor dancers, I know. it would have been so much better. And an orchestra. We need music. But you know, none of them get, get their legs up I anymore. Know. <laughs> <laughs> They've gotten so old, they can't kick anymore. I always loved the June Taylor dancers. They were wonderful. And you know, we have the camera up there, so they could have got on the floor and done all After those. After Doris retired from the Incas, that's, that's where true. she went. She became she a June Taylor <laughs> dancer. Why did you tell but anyway. <laughs> we gotta go. We gotta oh. go. And aren't you, aren't you glad we gotta go, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> goodbye.
So long and get out.